Good morning, friends. I'm Calvin Price, pastor of Oak Hill Baptist Church in Meridian, Mississippi. And I want to thank you for joining me this morning for a nugget out of God's Word. This morning, I want to turn your attention to Genesis chapter 12, and we're going to be looking at uh, specifically verse 4. And uh, this is a story where Abraham had his home. He did not uh, know God. He was not a servant of God, and God had called him uh, to come out of his homeland to serve him and to uh, just travel, and he did. Uh, he heeded that message, uh, that the invitation, and he began to move forward. But there was two things that Abraham was uh, going to learn. He was about to learn about God. The first one was his provisions. He was about to learn that in his lifetime that God would provide for him in ways that he could not imagine. But you know, friends, it's not enough to just know about the provisions of God. Abraham was about to learn the person of God. And so as he learned about provisions, he learned also about the person of God. He learned the very net nature, the very essence, the very character of God as he walked with God. I do want you to notice this in verse 4. I want you to notice Abraham's age when he began serving God. It says this in chapter 12 of Genesis in verse 4. So Abraham went forth as the Lord had spoken to him and lot with him. And now Abraham was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Now, that's uh, he's on up in his years. And Abraham uh, is probably, if we were to think about it in our terms, he would have been in his retirement years. But nevertheless, he was wealthy. He had everything he needed. He was about to learn about God's provisions as he would move forward and he, in his new journey of following God. But he was about to learn the person of God. And it may be today that you've heard about the provisions of God. It may be that you've experienced the provisions of God. But let me ask you this. Do you know the person of God? Sometimes in life, we know about people. We have acquaintances. We have people that we know. Uh, we may know their name. We may know where they live. We may know where they work. Uh, we may know uh, a little bit about their life. They may have been reared down the road from us or in the neighborhood or community in which we grew up. But the truth is, we may not know anything about that person. We simply know a little bit about their name and the surrounding uh, uh, features about them that we use to describe them. But my question is, do we know them? When we know someone personally, when we get to know them personally, we move beyond just knowing about them. We know them as an individual. We might would say it this way, as my father used to say, you know, you learn what makes them tick. You know what they think about. You know what they like. You know what they enjoy doing. You know a little bit about what their driving force is. Do you also learn about their character? And you learn about the type of person, in essence, that they truly are. When it comes to God, we learn about his provisions. And friends, we need his provisions. And the greatest provision that we need today is that of salvation. That is the greatest provision that we have ever been given and the greatest provision that we can ever receive. I encourage you today to receive that provision, the provision of salvation. It's very simple. You call upon the name of the Lord. In other words, acknowledge that you're a sinner and that he is capable of saving you. And you ask him to save you and surrender yourself to him and you will be saved. But then you need to get to know the person of God. How does God want you to live? God never wants you to live in a way that would harm you. He always wants you to live in a way that would better your life and make you a better person. It seems that we have many acquaintances in this world, but how many friends do we have? When I use the term friend, I'm referring to someone that you know personally. My question is this, do you know God personally? Even though you have experienced provisions, how personal are you with God? If you're not as personal as you need to be, make a decision to start today. Get to know the character and nature of our God. Friends, please know that the Lord Jesus loves you, and I love you too. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your provisions, but we also thank you for letting us get to know your person. We ask that you guide us into that relationship 
of knowing you, not just as an acquaintance, but as a friend. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, my friends, until we meet again.